I'm guessing that's pretty good right there. So what I'm gonna do is drill a hole, just one hole to get it started here. Um, right there perhaps. Yeah, okay. There, I think we'll be fine. I never tighten my bits up really tight because I don't want them busting if they jam. I would rather them slip a little bit than jam up and bust. It's just the way I see it. So as you can see, I have the I have those on uh, so the uh, lid don't just flop over too far. Now I am just attempting to bolt this up to find out where I want the hole for the spit to go through. Now there will be two of us loading this up when it comes time to do this. So that's no big deal. I'm gonna put this in here first of all. Needless to say, I wanna bolt the spit on first. I wanna bolt the spit motor on, yeah. The motor that drives the spit. Sorry folks, I'm thinking as I'm trying to talk here and I am very sorry for that. So this here should go on like so. This gets pushed through. The coveralls were caught. Okay, can you see what's going on? So this is in there like that. Now this when I eyeball it, I think that's going to be pretty good. Um, I don't know who built this spit part, but they didn't build it too straight. Let me tell you. That's good there. I'm gonna drill a hole right there. part is straight. Do I need longer bolts, I wonder? No. Or you can make it fit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll see, I'm going to have to take it off anyways, probably, and uh, straighten that out. Because I don't really like the way it's looking, but for now, I'm gonna drill a hole right there. Okay. I did not build any of this. This is what was supplied to me. Heather's dad did not build it either. Was just something he got. That's got to be drilled a little larger. Do the old stick the drill bit in and wiggle it around a little bit. Trick. Yeah, yeah. These won't be the, uh, probably won't be the bolts I use. I don't know. See how this fits. That. 
Okay. Not too shabby. No, it's not that bad, I guess. Could be better. Will be better. I am going to put a brace from here down because I don't like the way that looks. Looks a little on the flimsy side. Now I'm not sure, yes that's loose too. I'm not sure how large the pig is. I don't think I need a bearing on here. That's definitely got to be bolted down though. No big deal. Then there's going to be a hole. There's going to be a notch cut down here so we can slide the spit through here and then slide it back onto there. The pig is probably only going to be about so long. So there's going to be lots of room to slide the pig in. Unless I just make a door here that opens, that it slides through. But I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to just cut a notch down through here. Somewhere here. And uh, there'll be enough room to put in there. On this end, I'm not going to use a bearing. I'm going to put a plate on the outside with a piece of hardwood. Just with a long notch cut. Just so that this can sit down in there and it can run in that, that hardwood. Now it will be stuck out far enough that it's not going to end up burning, um, it's not gonna end up burning uh, the hardwood. I had to think of that for a while. And have to make some sort of a cage, I think, to go over this, because I think as I'm cooking, that little pig, well as Heather's dad's cooking, that pig may fall apart. So I think that's probably what I'm going to have to do is uh, build a cage for it. I haven't got the handle on yet, but I did get the hinges all done. I got this all welded up on this side. I have to clean it up a little bit, but I got this all welded. I got to finish well on the other side, but what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to cut a hole in here so I can stick that spit through. So.
I have to remove that whole piece out of the way there. Because I think what's happening is this here. I think that's welded crooked. I think it runs up on an angle. Easily fixed though. Try something here. Okay, so that's how that's spinning right there. I'm not sure if there's gonna to be too much weight on the end of this with that little pig on here. I don't think so. That's how that'll run. I gotta clean this up. I gotta fix that little hole in there. I gotta push that out and weld it. See this end here? I'm gonna straighten this up. There'll be a plate come across here with a piece of hardwood out here for this to sit on. And then I have to straighten that hole up somehow. I'm gonna cut the hole a little wider. That motor is not straight. It should be over here. So I'm gonna see if they welded that up crooked. Okay, so the motor's just got to be turned a little bit, that's all. The motor is twisted on there. Not going to be much heat come out here. If I have to, I'll put a plate here and put a little piece of hardwood for that to sit on there as well. I want to leave enough room so if we put that little pig on there, we can slide it in and then bring it back and slide it in through here. That's, that's what my goal is, to make enough room that we can do that. That motor's got to be unbolted and turned a little bit so this rides in the center like this. So far, so good. Now, to get a bearing, to, to slide that in a bearing and back while you're holding the weight of that pig, like there'll be two of us. So, and those little pigs don't weigh much, just a little guy. Um, but for one person, it would be too much to line them up. And, and I don't know if I could find a bearing that would fit nice. I, I think just a piece of hardwood, a piece of hardwood with a long notch cut in it with a round spot at the bottom, just so the weight when the pig sits in there, it rides on that piece of hardwood. 
And if I'm worried, I could even staple a piece of leather in there so it just runs on that leather. Um, I don't think it's going to be that bad though. And I'm going to run a piece of plate out here as well with a piece of hardwood, I think, just so all the weight's not sitting on the bearing of this motor. I think that's probably what I'm going to do. So that's how the build is going so far today, folks. center two foot six center two foot six yep center boom
no doubt I'll probably have to grind that now. I'll let you try to open that, see how hard that is, okay? Here, put the glove on. Try it again. Close it. 